Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a mermaid hair clip. What you'll need to do is get your lined alligator clip and your head. I showed you how to make this in another video, but all you need to do is just take your ribbon, loop it over once and hot glue under there. To make her a little top, you'll just need a little piece of ribbon and you'll cut the edges around, round them off, and then you'll take your thread or your string, press this together in the center, and you will wrap your string around a couple times and tie it off a couple times, and then you'll be left with her top. Okay, after you have that, we're going to work on her tail. To make her tail, you're going to do this like you're making a cancer ribbon. You will loop it over like that. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time. You have it at kind of an X, and you just take and bring this around like this. Okay, and then press it down to make sure the top's going to be covered. If it's not, then bring this a little further apart because we're going to have to do press it down like that. What you do is just take your glue gun and put a little glue up there. Okay, so you just glue in between there, okay, and after you have that we're just going to put some glue up here in the center and we're going to bring the top down to meet the center. Okay, once you have this, you will cut straight across the bottom to make her fins. Okay, I'm going to cut this, hold this where I can do a better job at that. And heat seal your ends. So all you do is wrap it around like you're making the cancer ribbon and glue it flat. And we're going to place this on our body. We're going to see where we need to place it because we need to leave a little bit of room for another piece of ribbon and room for her bikini top. We can go up just a little bit further than that, I think. So go ahead and add your glue. I shouldn't have put any glue on the bottom, that way I can cut it off, cut the excess off, but it'll be okay. I just won't press near the bottom. Okay, after you have this, we're going to cut the bottom off. It's better to have more that you can cut off than to not have enough of our body, so go ahead and make it long as you want. Okay, after you have this, we are going to take another piece of ribbon, yellow ribbon, or whatever color you use for the tail. The a light blue is really pretty or green, anything you want to use. I'm just using the small pieces I have because like I said, I may have said this earlier, um, I tried it with a thicker ribbon and I didn't like it as much. I actually glued this on wrong. Let's take this off. Make sure you have it on this side because we're going to use this line right here and this line right here to go by. So do not put it on like this. Put it on like this. I would redo this video but I've already redid it like a bunch of times today. So I'm just going to go with it. We're just going to take it off and fix it. So I'm sorry about that. Make sure you put it in the center. And then we will take this piece and you're going to use this line right here as your guide. So we're going to put it right here. So go ahead and put a little bit of glue right there. And what you're going to do is go ahead and glue this down this way. Don't press it down till you get it right where you need to be. Okay. Right there. Then we're going to take it behind the back. 
you can leave a little bit of kind of give back there. We're going to take this and, and glue it right there. You may want to cut off extra if you have too much at this point. But just wrap it around the back. Press it down. And then there you have the tail. So it's just like a cancer ribbon at the bottom that's pressed down flat. And then you use the line as a guide. And you'll just wrap the back around. And you can also put a little bit of glue back here. And press this down flatter. That way it looks like it's the same thickness of the bottom of our tail. Okay. All right, after you have that, we're just going to add her bikini top. I glued the um, string that I did back here. Press that in the center. And then for her hair, mermaids are in the water, so sometimes they have a uh, wavy hair. For her hair, I have pink. You can use any color you want. And I'm going to clip this back here if I can. I got it too long. Okay. Take her hair. We'll definitely need to cut some of this off. To do her hair, we're going to drape it over like this. So go ahead and put some glue at the top of her head. And do it at a little angle. Okay. Then hold her straight and attach the back piece to the back back of her body my glue strings pulling her away from me okay so just put a little bit on the back and then we're going to put this hair to the back of her head I don't know if I'm out of the camera you may want to give it just a little bit of slack Okay, and then for this front piece, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to twist it around like this. Just trying to see where I'm going to glue it at. I'm going to glue it to the top of her tail. You can do the hair any way you want. I've um, taken smaller ribbon and I have um, cut cut slits in it. And then you just take your lighter and you heat it and it curls up. So if you want to use smaller ribbon, you can. Okay, then I'm going to have to glue it back on itself after I did the one loop. I'm going to glue it to make it look like she has waves in her hair. hold that down and then we're gonna cut this off you can do her hair shorter or any way you like you just basically drape it kind of um, sideways on her head and then you can position it any way you like you can also just cut um, a little slit in it Okay, so that's what you have so far. We're going to add her arms. To do that, you just cut the sides. But for the other one I made, I have cut curls into her hair into the ribbon and I added um, a starfish to her hair 
and that's going to be my little cousins. Okay, position her on there any way you want. If you want, you can add the arms and then you can um, position this in the back. Just depends on how you want it to sit on your child's hair. Put some glue in the center and we're going to glue her down. I tried to make this video like probably six or seven times and it's still not the best but I'm just going to leave it I think because I think you get the gist of it. I'm going to show you the other mermaid I made. See her hair? So here's what we made. I hope you liked it and please click like if you did and thank you for watching.